Hello, Tim from Fair Play Now on the 28th of March 2022. Uh, yesterday I kind of came up with the question what happened and I had a lot of very interesting answers from you guys so thanks for your input on that and yeah your thoughts on the whole broadly and well not just broadly but in many ways echo my own and I think there's a lot of different uh, reasons for it. Uh, I think uh, one of the saddest ones I saw uh, yeah, regarding your comments was uh, one from Jane. Uh, so thanks Jane for yours. Uh, Jane was saying how she was talking to one of her friends probably I'm guessing it's about 18 months ago now and this fr friend was saying she was definitely not going to be getting anything. Uh, you know, she was sort of saying about a few things and seemed really switched, switched on. And yeah, it was like, nah, definitely not going to do it. And then uh, a few months rolls by and uh, uh, this friend is saying that she now is going to get the certain thing. Uh, because otherwise she would have been barred from seeing her sort of grandson, I think was the reason. And now uh, this lady is talking about getting number four. So I don't know. It's I know it's okay. I suppose if you're sort of desperate to see uh, a grandchild, um, that might be a reason to be swayed, but. I don't know. It's she shouldn't have been put in that position in the first place. The uh, uh, the son or daughter or whoever it was who uh, said they'd be uh, they'd be banning her. Um, well, just a total disgrace. One of the many disgraceful things that uh, uh, has been happening, isn't it? Really. I had a really nice uh, meal with my mum and. Yesterday we kind of went out to a pub and uh, had a nice Sunday roast, so that was great. Spent a good uh, couple of hours there doing that and, uh, uh, yeah, sort of highly enjoyable really. And someone sort of made the comment that I'm lucky that uh, I can still see um, these relatives who... Uh, are with the mainstream narrative and who have had certain things and because they were saying again it's another commenter I can't remember who uh, this one was saying uh, who this one was who was saying this but uh, they were saying that I'm lucky because they really cannot get on with their uh, uh, relatives and friends who are with the mainstream narrative at all um, and in many cases they can't even see them anymore so yeah um i've got to admit i am in the very fortunate position that uh although many people that we know uh, well the majority of people that we know are with the mainstream narrative and we've had uh, arguments and lively discussions it hasn't wrecked the relationships and i do recognize that uh you know we are in uh, a fortunate position but moving on from that um today uh i'm the mail on sunday seems to be doing um a, a kind of a series at the moment where they're basically trash trashing the whole uh sort of mainstream narrative that they themselves have been party to pushing over the last couple of years don't really know the reason behind it could be genuine reasons could be nefarious reasons who knows um, but uh, uh, this week um, they're basically trashing the whole lockdown narrative and it is probably about 15 months ago towards the end of 2020 I well, I think I might have even, even made a video how, um, but I certainly thought it and probably said it to Lorraine, how 2020 would be called 
um, well, it'd be the whole Lurgy thing would just be called the Great 2020 Madness, or the Great Madness of 2020 was how I termed it. And it so happens that in this uh, mail uh, feature, they're talking about, um, well, to read it, they're saying, today in the final part, we talk to the growing number of experts who say that lockdowns had little benefit. A cure was The cure was worse than the disease. One of them is Professor Mark Woolhouse, an epi- epidemiologist at the University of Edinburgh, who has recently published a book, The Year the World Went Mad. <laughs> so pretty similar to uh, uh, the thing that I called it, isn't it? And uh, Professor Woolhouse said, I think that lockdown will be viewed by history as a monumental mistake on a global scale for a number of reasons. The obvious one is the, Im- the immense harm the lockdowns more than any other measure did in terms of the economy, mental health and on the well-being of society. And yeah, that is very true, isn't it? And it has had a monumental negative effect. But it's just a shame, isn't it, that uh, these professors and the male are only coming out with it now Whereas we so-called conspiracy theorists <laughs> were actually saying it kind of 18 months, two years ago, weren't we? So, I mean, it's nice to see uh, uh, them catching up. Well, better late than never is the uh, uh, the word for that, isn't it, really? Anyway, just uh, that's just something that's uh, piqued my interest and I wanted to comment on, but... I'm going to leave it there for now. I've got a, um, well, one of the Delian pod podcasts to watch. Uh, the one with James Delian Paul interviewing uh, James Corbett of the Corbett Report. Uh, I think that's going to be a good one. Started watching it this morning, um, about a quarter of it. Got the rest of it to watch now. And yeah, I will uh, sort of report back on it tomorrow. Uh, if it's any good, which knowing those two, it probably will be. Uh, but I'm going to go off and watch that now, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching.